guys and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Dragon. Um, firstly, before I get into anything, uh, if we could get 300 likes on this episode, that would be glorious. But before I even get into that, um, I was expecting to do the Moldova game in today's episode and I completely forgot that that was going to be the game. I knew that it was the last game of the year, but I'd forgotten which one I'd selected because it's been a couple of days since I last did a recording. Now, the problem was the actual Moldova game came up and it was in like November or quite early November, if I recall correctly. And the issue was I didn't even click at the time that that was meant to be the live com because I didn't feel like I'd recorded that many games so I got to the point where I'd done a couple more and there's another friendly after that and then it said 153 games for the ne uh, days for the next game and I was like crap uh, I may have made a little boo-boo there so we're actually going to be doing the Serbia game so um yeah that kind of sucks but what can you do um it's going to be an interesting one anyway the Moldova one might not have been quite as interesting as you guys will see uh in a second in fact enjoy some highlights now of the games we've got a couple of friendlies and some qualifiers as well things have been going a little bit shaky so uh enjoy these and I'll join you guys in a sec Alba slips it through for Koke, Morata on the rebound, and it is 1-0 to Spain, but it's taken them 38 minutes to break us down, which is solid, but we've not offered anything ourselves, which is not a good thing. Bear with the ball in. Alan's there, Alan's header, and it is Wales, what an amazingly, well, sorry, Spain won, Wales won. The changes we've made seem to have done the trick for now. It's all over the place. And now Juan Mata, ball lobbed over the top, Morata's onto this here, I don't think we're going to get back quick enough, goes for goal, and he scores. Carl Darlo can't keep it out. 2-1 to Spain, but at least we're offering a little bit now. So guys, Spain 2, Wales 1. Some positives to be taken from that in terms of our reaction to things, I have to say. Alan, Ramsey again. This is good play from Wales. Over the top for Gunter. Across for Bradshaw. Off the post and in. There we go. Serbia 0, Wales 1. Tom Bradshaw. And if we were to win in Belgrade, that would be a huge win for our chances of qualifying. In fact, to the edge for Hughes. All the way across to Bradshaw. Lovely stuff. And it's 2-0 to Wales. Tom Bradshaw has both of them, and this could be a massive, massive win in our qualification campaign now. It's now for potentially for Serbia. Djordjevic, Matic with the strike, and amazingly, Serbia are back into the game. Disappointing stuff from us there. The 10 men of Serbia have got a goal back. We cannot let this slip. Down Matic, Djordjevic, it's in the back of the net from Jovanovic. Oh my god, we could not hang on to this. What has happened? We, They just, I don't know, we just couldn't hang on in the end. There we go, Serbia 2, Wales 2, we've thrown away a two-goal lead. I do not know what happened. We were so good, and then they didn't really change anything. I could not figure out what they've done. That for Maya. Lots of space out wide for Kavanagh. Kavanagh, ball into the box, longs header, and it's in the back of the net. Ireland have the lead here. Not a good start for us at all. Wales nil, Ireland 1. Ball at the top, Bradshaw's in here. Can he get the equaliser? He must, he does. There we go, Wales 1, Ireland 1. Um, it's not the best result in the world, but we've certainly improved after the early troubles we've had. Bradshaw with the goal, 1-1 one, one again. Oh, okay, guys, Wales 1, Ireland 1. We possibly on another day could have won that, but still, positive things to be taken. Or something, whips it across, and it's somehow kept in here. Oh my god. How have we conceded a goal from there? Kajashvili with the goal. Georgia won, Wales nil. Um, I don't know, it looked like it hit the post, and how have we managed to let that happen? It was ball in. Target Madze, oh my god, they've got another one. It's 2-0 to Georgia. Uh, Mechlidze has made it 2-0, and I don't even know what to say at this point. They've had some good chances, but what are we doing? Cross Kajashvili is rippling all over the place here, and I don't know how that stayed out. Yano on the rebound, and eventually it's ended up in the back of the net anyway. Very, very disappointing performance today. Really, really bad. Well, there we go, guys. Georgia 3, Wales 0. What a woeful performance. It really should have been a lot better on the night. In, Vokes is across, turns and shoots. There we go, 18 minutes gone, one nil to Wales. That's a massive goal because it just gets us off the mark, basically. For Vokes, can he turn and shoot this time? Davis is in and he's offside, surely. No, he's not. There we go. Wales 2, Moldova nil. And without our stars, who are all injured, um, we're actually doing okay against the Minnows. Why for Gunter, can he get one across the box, perhaps? Go short, Davis turns, Davis scores. 3-0 to Wales, game set and match, that's what we need. But a couple more goals wouldn't go amiss anyway. Wales 3, Moldova 0. I feel like if this tactic was more fluid uh, in terms of our understanding of it, we'd probably be able to get more goals at the moment. We're still doing okay. Right, we're back, and we're going to do ourselves, of course, a question of the day. And today's question is this. Who is your favourite team to manage on FM? Um, I don't know if that means, like, teams I have managed. It must have been teams I have managed, uh, because yeah, why would you want to pick a team that you haven't actually managed? Um, I have to say that... Portsmouth was still one of my favourite saves, and I really, really, really enjoyed Red Star too. And I want to start a save similar to Red Star offline, just something I can play for like the entire year and build like a dynasty. Basically, I'm thinking of doing it with like Yotabor or with H uh, with IF. 
HFK over in Finland. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? What is your favourite team to manage on FM? What saves are you doing right now? I'd be very curious to hear what you're doing, see if there's any particularly interesting ones in there. Um, if I look a bit bedraggled, the reason is because the, it's been a bit of a messed up day, and um, after this I'm going to go shower and change my stuff, and then hopefully when I record le videos later today, if I've got time, um, I'll look a little bit more fresh-faced, shall we say. Anyway, um, so yeah, results haven't been wonderful so far. Looking at the schedule uh, that we had, it... The Serbia game could have been so much better. We should have won that. We really were in a great position. And I changed something that I thought would make it better. And in theory, it should have done. Because they were being so narrow. So I thought, if we exploit the flanks... But it, it just didn't work. And they actually got two goals back with 10 men, which was a real shame. Uh, the draw at home to Ireland... It could have gone either way. It, it really could have gone either way. And... We, we got a draw, and it's not the worst result in the world. The, the worst result was the one away in Georgia. I don't know what happened there. I played. They played a 4-4-2. This system usually works brilliantly against 4-4-2s. It just weren't happening for us. And unfortunately, Neil Taylor got himself sent off again. So, yeah. God damn it, Neil. Uh, Moldova was a comfortable win, as you would expect. Possibly could have got more goals, but I think when the tactic's more fluid, we will be able to get that. And against Canada, I tried some stuff out, and it just did not work. It didn't work, people. It didn't work. So, that leaves the group looking like this. Yes, we're fifth. I get that. But, when you actually look at it, we're only two points off the top of the group. So, it's not all is not lost. You know, we can go above Serbia today with a win. Uh, we really should have got those. We should be on seven points, really. Um because we should have won the Serbia game, but that's our fault for throwing it away. There's nothing to blame but ourselves. Um, but there you go. So Moldova and Bottom, we're right in there still with everybody else. And it's going to be tough, that much I know, but I still think we've got, an, got it in the tank to actually complete it. And the other thing is, I, a couple of days ago, I asked a question about scary footballer names, and I've got a couple here which I'm going to read out sort of throughout the episode, but I just want to start off with Steven and Zombie. Love it. And also, while we're here, um, let's see. Martin Ste Skeletonberg, Skartul, uh... Cost, Costas Boogie Manor, lass, like it. Uh, Julian Dracula, Jack o Lantern Wilshire, okay. Frankenstein Lampard, Leroy Lucifer, yep. Uh, Robin Van Piercy, yep. Uh, I particularly like Xavier Tricotrito Hernandez, right. Um, uh, is there any more? No, that'll probably be alright for now. Um, so they're playing a similar kind of system. We actually did quite well against them in the first game, I have to say, even though they went down to 10 men in the first minute. Now, the other problem we've had is the injuries. Not been good, people. Not been good at all. Um, Bale has been out. He's not played uh, a single match, I don't think, in this entire episode. He had a three-month injury, and now he's got a sprained ankle and is out for six to seven weeks. I've not... It's so frustrating, and Ramsey's missed some games as well. Thankfully, he is back now, but it's not looking good. Um, as for... I get comments quite a lot about people telling me to call up certain players. Now, that's all well and good, but the issue is... I've looked out something. Why is the tactics actually getting worse in the familiarity, which is disappointing? Uh, I don't know how we're ever going to get the tactic to a kind of level of competency at the moment disappointing but yeah people um, commenting with players that they want to see uh, called up for the first team uh, i've checked a lot of them out and the problem is many of them are sort of not good players yet because they're so young and i will call them up but the thing is it's not my responsibility to develop them it is the clubs and if they develop well for their clubs because it could vary of course i will get them into the team do not worry about that um, i've taken a look i've you know i'm gonna go away and scout the new youth intake after this because we should have enough uh, teams now that have done so so we're actually the favorites surprisingly today and i just think that this team with this style uh, we seem to do quite well against them. Now, obviously, without Bale, we do lack a little bit up front, and it has been hugely noticeable, I have to say. And he is integral for this team, and it really does prove um, how important he is for this Welsh side. When the moment he was no longer in the team, we did okay, but we've had some really poor results in there as well, which is a real shame. Uh, also, Charles Hill Dismember. I liked that one as well. And Mark Fright. Got to have that. And Tony Cascarino. Um, so... Without further ado, we may as well just get into the game, basically, because I can't think of anything else we'd need to do at this point. Let's just get into this and see what we can come up with. Um, I really want to see us win this game, but it is going to be tough, because for me, Serbia, Austria, and Ireland are probably the toughest teams in this group, and we've managed to only get a draw against Ireland at home, which isn't the worst result, and frankly, I feel like we could probably come fifth in this group, and the board would actually probably still be happy. I don't want to come fifth, however. Uh-oh, Zivkovic. Oh, Ramsey does well there, Alan. Um, but also, something else I've been doing a bit more is paying more attention to Prozone stats. It took me a little while to learn and understand kind of what they mean. That was really bad play. Um, but I'm starting to get the grips with it, and it certainly made a difference in the Ireland game, particularly, um, because we were quite poor to start with in that game, as you would have seen from the stats when they scored their goal. But come the end of that game, and where we, we really pulled ourselves right back into that, and on another day we might have even won, but I don't think we would have deserved the win had we got it. They're playing such width here. We need to really... Oh, God. Oh, they've scored already. One minute in, and they've... We've barely managed to touch the ball. This has just been one long highlight so far, and already we trail at home to Serbia. Come on, guys. It's disappointing, but it's really, really tough. The tactic just seems to be a little bit shaky at the moment, and I'm not sure why, because we did so well with it in the World Cup, uh, in the Euros, and the qualifying for the Euros. It was reasonably okay, so 
I'm a little bit confused. Uh, it certainly seems... Wow, that was the lovely outside of the footpass. Zivkovic cuts inside, drops it off, and it's a simple finish for Djordjevic. Um, we're going to have to try and come back into this now. And I'm just wondering if counter is not the best approach for this game. I can't really analyse anything because it's the first minute of the match. We just kind of have to see where things are going. Georgia are interestingly beating Ireland, which is bizarre but Georgia actually oh there we go Shane Long's equalized for them um up to Vokes and bear in mind I've turned off the instruction that says we have to just hit it to Vokes because it was not working um I'm spon sp mm, I'm sensing that they're trying to get the ball to Zivkovic as much as physically possible and that is possibly something we need to shut down I don't know what the instructions are for Zivkovic just yet let's just check this um no, he's got none at all. I want to tight mark him, yes, and close him down always. In fact, we're going to sh tackle him. No, we won't tackle him too hard. We'll get fouls then. And we'll show him off to his weaker foot. Because um, they are clearly targeting him as a good player. And there we go, Gunter. And, oh, he's been cut, caught out there. And Lilic is throw. Oh, my God, they've scored twice. Adam Lilic. And it's now 2-0 to Serbia. Not a good start. And this has kind of been symptomatic of what's been going wrong for us. I don't really have a way of putting my finger on it. We've done okay in some of these games but we're just conceding way too many goals now ghosting through the defender there and darlo just i think it's darlo i don't know who's in goal actually who's in goal? i think it is darlo i put yeah of course it's darlo um that ball is very i swear this is like gonna be identical to a previous one up to Vokes, we lose the ball and they score oh my god is this just gonna be a carbon copy of their last goal Djordjevic. zivkovic it very nearly was thankfully um We've been so bad in this game so far. Right, okay. A chance for us, perhaps. Vokes, can he get it back across for someone? Ramsey, can he turn? He can block, though. Ramsey back to Gunter. He's got huge space for King, and that is an absolutely shocking pass to him. Ah, oh, dear. Um, I just don't know how to get the tactic more fluid. I'm not making that many changes to it, and it just seems to be going backwards at times. Admittedly, we've not played for a while, but even when we were, it just wasn't. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I don't know how we're supposed to get this tactic working when we can't get any kind of fluidity to it he does need special attention yes he does we'll take a look a little closer look at the stats at half time um oh my god straight over the head of gunter um he's oh that's not gunter is it, it was one of our center backs Georgievich, gujel there's so many players in this area we need to perhaps sit the defense a little bit wider um because at the moment they're getting caught out way too often and that is not something we can afford to have happen um i might even do that now uh, I don't know if you can even... I wish you could have it so that your defence is a little bit wider. Because um, I swear it used to... Mo I mean, to be fair, that instruction generally seems to affect the defence more than the strikers, I've found. Zivkovic... Oh. That's the first rebound goal I've actually seen on FM16 this year. This has been an abysmal first 23 minutes of this game. Um, there's been a lot of things that just haven't been clicking lately, and I'm not entirely sure why. I've not been able to put my finger on what's been going wrong. Because uh, this is the same tactic that we were playing in the Euros, and... It just doesn't seem to have evolved. Admittedly, having no Gareth Bale does not help, but man. Uh, we're going to have to go on attacking for a bit, perhaps. But the problem is they've got these two... Ah, uh, that's the issue. The tactic is slightly different because they've actually got two defensive midfielders. So maybe if we actually do play a little bit wider and try to get... I don't want to clear the ball to the flanks, but maybe that could be a little bit more useful for us because at the moment, we're just going to end up running into a brick wall of players, basically, and we try to go through that zone. Um, that might be the issue for us. We'll have a little look, a little look at the stats at half-time and see if we can work our way back into this game. But 3-0 down, we've got real problems here. Uh, we That game away from home was so important. Is that a penalty? Okay, Mihailovic has given away a penalty. Perhaps a route back into the game for us. Bradshaw, he's been good. Bradshaw has been pretty much the standout player in the qualifying that we've had so far. Uh, he's done really, really well for goals, and he's scored. Rykovic just stood still there. Tom Bradshaw with another goal for his country, really liking his work. He's making Warsaw proud. So, yeah, I think he got both the goals against Serbia. He scored the, the equaliser against... Oh, dear, goalkeeper. Uh, he scored the equaliser against Ireland, and, yeah, I mean... Oh, good, Aaron Ramsey's injured. That can That is the perfect thing right now. Thankfully, oh, Johnny Williams is injured again, isn't he? Sorry, we've got a lot of injuries at the moment, unfortunately. Um, I've had to, like, when I picked the team for this uh, friend, uh, not for this friendly, for this game, we ha I've had to replace about seven players at various times. Daniel Ward has got a call up. It's it's a little bit difficult for us. Daniel Ward and Chris Maxwell are our backup goalkeepers because both Hennessy and Myhill are both mm -mm, out of it. So, George Willie? No, that's the Fulham player, isn't it? Uh, Jake Taylor. I'm thinking it might have to be Harry Wilson, who I believe is at Liverpool, although it might just be... Yes, he is actually. He is still at Liverpool. Is that really... Oh, that is a shocking idea. What am I doing? Interesting that... Oh, of course, it's centre mid, isn't it? Not attacking mid. Right, that's a bad idea for me. Um, it's... Why am I doing that? I could just do this. Uh, Hughes... I'm going to bring on Jake Taylor. 
I'm going to bring on Jake Taylor and see what we can do in the middle. But the problem is now we've lost our playmaker in Ramsey. Uh, things could get a little bit dicey here. So, um, stats-wise, this is something I've been looking at a little bit more. So we'll take a little look at what they've been doing. So there's someone got decent uh, pass completion. Zivkovic is targeted as well. Good Goodell. Goodelli. Yeah, okay. He's got decent pass completion, so perhaps we should be targeting him and trying to avoid the crap out of Matic. I know that's a difficult thing to do. You can't always get much from this, but it sometimes can be very revealing, particularly when you look at the heat maps of where they're playing. So they're actually all over the place, and I don't notice any particular spots in their side that are particularly weak, whereas we, particularly in these areas, have a lot of the ball. We're not using a lot of the left-hand side, interestingly. Um, right, so we're going to target... Oh, crappy crap. Did I even do a first-time team talk? I hope I did. Um, we're going to do ourselves a little change here to target uh, Gudeli. Um, just close him down. We're not going to tight mark him. Um, we're just going to get to him when he gets the ball to hopefully try and knock him off of it a little bit more. Um, we've come back into this game a little bit, but I don't know whether we've got another three goals in us, and I'm fairly certain we don't, but you just never know at this story. Neil Taylor, prepare for getting him sent off later, but if we get a goal back, Gunter's into the box here. Can he get one across? Vokes is in! <gasps> Oh, what a chance. That was a big opportunity for Wales. We've actually created some really good opportunities since we switched this tactic up a little bit. And unfortunately, it's just looking like it might be one step too late. Um, getting the number of shots on target up has been a bit of a problem too. Austria are now beating Moldova, but only slightly. That's the thing. It's been very strange. Some of the results in this group have been very mixed. Like... Ireland beat Georgia 4-0, but now they're struggling against them in today's game. So, very bizarre. Neil Taylor's ball in, cleared away back to him. We get any, a goal back here, and there might still be hope for us. Taylor into the box. Whips it back. Folksy at the back post, and that is onside. It is Wales 2, Serbia 3. Right, this is game on, and we're looking really good now. Um, so, perhaps this tactic is more of an attacking-based tactic. Particularly at home. Maybe we should be, you know, putting off best foot forward and trying to be a bit more proactive about it. And maybe that's why we didn't beat Ireland. Um, I think it was the right approach to play in Belgrade. Uh, I don't know what happened in Tbilisi. That was just a bizarre result where we just weren't good enough. Uh, Andy King's not looking great for fitness. Neither is... Who is anyone playing really badly? Ashley Williams, I tell you what, as much as I don't want to take our captain off, he's on a six right now. And... I'm thinking maybe James Wilson. I know it's early substitutions, but at this point, perhaps just shaking things up at the back and getting some steady feet, because frankly, Williams just hasn't been good enough so far. We need better than that. Go on, if we find an equaliser here... Oh, no. Willie, uh, Wilson, right. I feel like there's potential in this game now. We've The tide has completely turned, and it is all Wales at the moment. Davies slips it through. Bradshaw's in. <gasps> no. We've been really good in this game, in the second half particularly, but once we made those changes, we've been so, so good. Four really good chances... We should have at least taken three of those. Worrying. I might have to go on overload for the final ten to try and nick that equaliser. We're not getting enough shots on target. Um, Ireland have now taken the lead against Georgia with Stephen Quinn. Uh, do we slow the tempo down a little bit? We're going to have to take more risks. That much is for sure. But um, Oh, come on. Is there an equaliser in this game for us? I feel like, we, based on the game, we actually probably deserve the equaliser now. Sam Vokes is... Uh, Oh, well, unless we're going to score in the last 10 seconds of the game, which we're not. We've given Serbia a couple of really solid games, basically. And that's what I can take sort of as a positive. You know, we've scored four goals against them over two matches. It's just we've only got one point and we really should have had at least two points. Um, possibly should have won the away leg. And that's what I mean. It's disappointing to have. But there you go, guys. Um, so in the next... That's such a shame. Um, but there we go. We've... Still got a chance. It's just going to be really tough. We've got some tough games, but, you know, we've got to play Georgia at home, Moldova away, so there's two wins hopefully there. We've got Austria, which we've yet to play at all yet, I don't think. Um, so there's still some chances for us, I feel, in this sort of second period of the game. We really should have done better. But there you go. So in the next episode, we are going to be doing... What game are we going to be doing? Uh, well, it'll have to be the Austria game, the final game of qualifying, which could decide... Well, we won't probably decide whether we qualify or not, because let's face it, I don't see us qualifying from this group, and I don't think we were ever going to um, because of the sheer lack of places. But we still want to give a good account of ourselves. You know, we've got Austria at home, Ireland away is the really tough one, but we've got Georgia and Moldova. There's wins available, guys. I feel like we can still shoot up these rankings. You just never know. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do drop a like on it. That would be magnificent. If we could get it to 300, even though we lost, that would be even better. Uh, of course, if you've got any ideas for a question today, drop those in the comments too with the hashtag QOTD. And if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. That would be glorious. Now, yeah, so I will join you guys in the next episode tomorrow for a game against Austria. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.